Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Here on my YouTube channel, I post a variety of budgeting related videos. Today is day three of Vlogmas. So if that is content that you are interested in, I would highly recommend subscribing. So today I am filming my December paycheck number one budget setup. So this is the paycheck that I receive on December the 1st. So it actually falls on the first of the month. It normally doesn't because I am paid bi-weekly. Um, so it has to cover me from December the 1st up until December the 14th. I like filming these videos. Again, if you guys watched my video from yesterday, I like filming these videos just because it kind of helps me outline everything. Um, because I'm filming so many videos this month, if any of this stuff gets repetitive, feel free to skip videos. I really don't mind. This was just a really big accomplishment for me last year to actually like complete Vlogmas. So I'm going to try again to do it this year. But again, I will not be offended if you guys just like click off because you're like, you guys, you shared a lot of this information with you yesterday and you are not wrong. I did share a lot of this information with you all yesterday, but if you want to just listen to me talk, that's fine too. I appreciate it. So yeah. Anyways, let's get started with my December paycheck number one. Again, I like doing these just to make sure I have enough money in my checking account essentially. And honestly, if like the, the number one thing that I always say to you guys, um, that helped me the most when it came to like actually paying off debt was tracking my expenses. That was a huge game changer for me, but doing like a consistent budget was also like game changing. And I realized that like big time when I stopped doing it. So, and I got honestly a lot of like very nice comments from people being like, no, like the repetitiveness really helps me. Like it shows that like you're, you're following the plan, you're going to it. So it's like, if you're new to budgeting and you're kind of thinking that like, oh, in the new year, I'm thinking about starting a budget and I don't know where to start. Start with very basic would be my recommendation. But at the same time, like overdo it a little bit right because the more you're checking in with your money the more you're like setting things up the more you're like the more you have eyes on it I think the more motivating it can be and that was at least my experience with everything when it came to budgeting so yeah let's get started so the first thing that I always do is I start by listing out my income so I'm a salaried employee I get paid the same amount every other paycheck because one paycheck has insurance and one paycheck doesn't so my paycheck on the 1st of December was for $1,969 this obviously is not the actual amount it was like slightly rounded but I always I never include cents when I do like budget setups the only time I include cents is when I do my weekly check-ins so yeah 1969 for my salary and then I have an other line item in case I get any extra income I don't think there's a climate action incentive I think I got the climate accident action incentive payment back in October I don't know if there's going to be another one I honestly like those are just like that's just like bonus money whenever that happens so I'm budgeting zero dollars for that. So that gives me a total estimated income for this paycheck of $19.69. And again, that has to cover me for two weeks. Uh, the next thing I do is I list my fixed expenses. Fixed expenses for me are bills or they're things I pre-plan for. So there was a certain time in the year where I would put getting my nails done as a fixed expense because I knew I went every two weeks. That I'm not doing anymore. I put that into miscellaneous now, but I technically could do that. I'm thinking about revamping how I do my variable expenses in the new year, but I'm not fully sure exactly how I want to do it, but we'll, we'll figure that out sooner rather than later. Cause honestly it's December 1st and we're a month away from 2024, which is crazy to say, but yeah. Anyways, the first fixed expense that I have is my rent. So I save half of my rent. So my full rent is $1,200. Half of my rent is $600. And the rent that I actually paid on December the 1st was actually paid with money from November. So this half of my rent, this $600 is actually going to be used towards my rent on January the 1st. So that's again very helpful for me I would like to get to a point where I have enough money in my checking account that I don't have to do that and I just like have basically like a four thousand dollar buffer which would be like approximately what I make in a month but I'm not there yet so that'll be a that'll be a goal uh the next thing I have is my personal loan number one personal loan number one is my very last 
debt payment or debt that I have. Um, I'm budgeting $350. I started paying $350 per paycheck on this I want to say back in like June and this is my second last debt payment you guys so again I told you guys I'm filming this video on December the 1st you guys are seeing it I think on December the 3rd but as of when I'm filming this video I have already sent this money again this is a personal loan with a person so like there's no interest none of that so I've e-transferred that person the money. I have one debt payment left. It was very, very tempting to just like transfer the whole $700 that I owe, but I didn't <laughs> just because I like, I want to stick to my plan, but it's very exciting. Like I've at this point paid off over $25,000 as of like today, um, not even including like my last debt payment that I'm going to do. So that's, it's, it's very, very cool to think that this time, like in January, I will not have this $350 towards debt. I'll be able to like put that back into my budget. So it's very, very exciting. So yeah, 350 for my last personal loan. Um, and then the final thing that I have here is my savings. The, I say final thing. It's not the final thing. There's obviously many more things. But when I say the final thing, it's just because like these are the things that I like happen like right on the day. Every single paycheck day sort of. But yeah. Um, savings, $80. Um, $40 per week. If you do that for the full year, that's $2,000. Again, I spent a lot of this money, but that's okay. Um, $40 or $80 for savings. I don't know, honestly, it is like four o'clock. It's not even four o'clock right now and it's so dark. So hopefully the lighting on this isn't too bad. I'm just like seeing the shadows from the candle. So I might, I maybe should have put on my light, you guys, but guys, like Ontario in the winter time, I love the cold so much more than I love the hot, but this is insane. But anyways, $80 for savings. Next, I have my tenant's insurance. That is $19 every month, followed by my internet, which is $64. Um, the final bill, or the second final bill, <laughs> is my Patreon. That is $5 a month. I am hoping that after I film this, I will actually remember to go and cancel it. Um, but if I don't, it's $5. And then finally, my actual final bill is Hydro, and I am budgeting $70 for Hydro. I don't think it'll be this high. Like, I'm 90% sure it's going to be much less than that, but $70 is what I'm budgeting. And then my final thing in terms of fixed expenses that's not actually a bill is my sinking funds. I'm putting $200 on this, but if you guys watched my video from yesterday, you'll know that I'm actually not actually, I'm actually not actually, listen to me, you guys, I, I can talk so well. Um, I'm actually not planning on putting this full $200 towards my sinking funds if I can help it. Um, when I was sort of like reconciling everything from November and like there was a lot of spending, which you guys will see next week, but I am kind of thinking right now to just like fully fund Christmas. And then once Christmas is fully funded, I will then stop sinking funds for the rest of December, put any extra money I have into savings and then start fresh in January. But we'll have to kind of see how that works. Anyways, all that being said, if you add all of these categories up, it gives you a total for fixed expenses of $1,388. Now onto my variable expenses. So my variable expenses are what I do my weekly check-ins for. Hopefully I'll be able to keep these more in check this month because I definitely went a little bit overboard in the month of November. So the first variable expense that I have is my groceries. I budget $120 per pay period or $60 every week. Dining out, I give myself the same amount, $120, $60 a week. I honestly, if I'm thinking about it, might go over in both of these categories. And the reason why is because it is one of my, or two of my good friend's birthdays. I no, like the cake that I got was like $30. Um, I'm going to order like sushi. That's going to be another like 30 ish, $40. So a good chunk of this money is going to go towards that like get together. Um, but I don't, I don't fully know. So yeah, so far I'm just doing 120 and 120. Hopefully I'm able to make that work, but we'll have to see. Um, and then the next variable expense that I have is gas. I give myself $80. I doubt I'll spend $80 on gas, but I mean, actually, to be perfectly honest, I do need to get gas. I definitely do need to get gas. I didn't, don't know if I got gas at all in November. 
but that was also because I was trying to drive as little as possible because I spent so much money <laughs> um, and I really needed that like gas buffer which you guys will see when I finally do my weekly check-ins um, and then finally for miscellaneous I do give myself $200 for that um, maybe this will be the category that I'm able to sort of like even out I could technically take like the birthday stuff out of miscellaneous but I also know I want to get my nail or I take that back I am going to get my nails done like I've been going every three weeks to get my nails done I love how these look like I don't know if you guys can actually pick that up with the camera just because it's so dark but these are actually like French tips but they're red and I think they look so cute um, for like Christmas but these are a little bit more expensive they're like $70 to get done um, when you get the French tip so it's like $10 more than it normally would which is not terrible again I live in a very high cost of living city so it's really like not that bad and I also would really love to get a pedicure as well I won't go back to the same place that did my nails because the last time I got a pedicure from there I did not like it I'll go back to the girl that I normally do but like that will be another like $50 so like that alone is like 120 bucks to get my nails done which again I know for some people hearing that you're like you are crazy but I have paid off over 100 or I 125 no <laughs> I have paid off over $25,000 worth of debt at this point so I'm working things into my budget that I enjoy and that's just the truth so yeah anyways if you add all of these categories up it gives my total variable spending for this two-week period of $520 so now let's bring down my numbers and <laughs> now that I'm looking at this I didn't fully write all of this down so you're gonna have to write this down with me so I've got my income then I have my fixed expenses and then my variable expenses normally I fill these out in advance but sorry about that so yeah let's bring all of these down so my income which was 1969 so 1969 then I subtract my fixed expenses which is 1388 minus 1388 and then I subtract my variable expenses which is 520 so minus 520 gives me $61 left over at the end of this pay period which is great again hopefully I'll have a little bit more than that left because I'm hoping to not put, have to put as much money into sinking funds that all being said it might be that I put the full amount of sinking funds in the first paycheck of December and then in the second paycheck of December I don't have to do sinking funds but I don't fully remember how that all worked out but again you guys will see that when I close on my budget and update you all on my sinking funds and everything so yeah anyways that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys, so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Amelia, and this is Amelia Budgets. Because I am doing Vlogmas, my next video should be up tomorrow. Um, I am planning on doing all of my weekly spending check-ins. So just as like a little sneak peek for you guys, like there was a lot of spending over the last like three weeks. I used almost two full pages. Do you guys remember the days when I only used up one page? If you do remember those days, then you've been around for a long time because it's been a while. But yeah, those are the videos that you guys are going to see early next week. Have an amazing Sunday, everybody. And I will talk to you again tomorrow on Monday. Goodbye.